All right, ladies and gentlemen, and all of you who don't identify as ladies or gentlemen, I'm going to tell you a bit about smiling. I'm Päivi Salminen, a face yoga teacher from Finland, and I've been teaching face yoga for four years. I've also been modeling for way over 20 years. I'm going to be 40 in a few months. And I started when I was a teen. And um, you know how teens can be. I was awkward as the rest of them. And uh, I didn't want to smile so that my teeth were showing. So instead I just, um, I just did this. So I spread my mouth wide to the sides, like this. When you do this, it's like you're saying the letter E. You're just um, pulling your mouth to the sides with the help of risorious muscles. This will cause these wrinkles, these vertical wrinkles, and you're not showing any teeth. So when I started um, as a teen, I had to learn a new smile where I'm showing as many of my upper teeth as possible. Uh, now you can make a big smile and uh, count how many teeth are showing. Um, I'm able to show 12 upper teeth when I smile. That's only about 4% of um, the world's population who can do that. It's Julia Roberts and me. Haha. -ha. Um, Many people show eight teeth or ten teeth. This is actually something that you can work on. Uh, when you practice your smile, you can start to show more teeth, and that is uh, generally considered attractive. Okay. So, in order to be able to show your teeth when you smile and get these high cheekbones, you need to activate your cheekomaticus major muscles. Mm -hmm. Those are these cheekbone muscles that are, go from your, the corner of your mouth to your temple. And you can activate them by hissing. I know this sounds ridiculous. This is a technique that actually I originally learned from Koko Hayashi's videos and it works like a charm. I, I've been uh, teaching this for uh, the past couple of years and I think that this is the easiest way for people to understand how to activate the Gigomaticus major muscle. So you hiss. Now, an important note is that this. Uh, in some dialects, some languages, you hiss so that your tongue is behind your lower teeth. Don't do that here. Um, the tongue's anatomically correct position is against your palate and you want to keep your tongue as close to the palate as possible so you can hiss by maintaining your tongue uh, close to your palate. You can breathe in through your nose and then hiss so that you breathe out through your mouth. Just keep doing this. Um, I'm actually a face yoga teacher and, and a yoga teacher. I've been teaching yoga since 2013 and I've been doing uh, yoga since I was 18. Um, but I'm also doing Pilates nowadays. And in Pilates, you breathe into your nose and breathe out through your mouth. And that was hard for me at first because it felt so foreign to a yoga teacher who is always used to breathing in and out through the nose. But as I started doing this when I do Pilates, it made perfect sense to me. So I breathe in through my nose and breathe out through my mouth. I have to add that I'm doing Pilates at home, so no one is gonna see me. Okay, keep doing this. A couple of pointers. Um, so you don't want to activate the risorius muscle. So don't think about your mouth too much. If you start thinking about your mouth, you will just pull it sideways and you will get these vertical wrinkles. Don't do that. You don't have to think about your mouth because when your psychomaticus major muscle activates, 
it will pull the corners of your mouth up as it attaches to the corners of the mouth and the, the temple. So when a muscle activates, it shortens and brings two places closer together, in this case, the corner of the mouth and the temple. Okay, another thing that you don't want to do, you don't want to do this, uh, like when you sniff. You don't want to do that. Um, many people, myself included, have a strong, strong tendency for that. And the smile that I learned as a teenager was something like, and it looked really good when I was young. But as I'm nearing 40, I'm, uh, I had to learn another way to smile again. So I can't activate these muscles anymore. This muscle has the longest name of all the muscle names in mammals. It's called the uh, levator labii superiors alacae nasi. So it's the muscle that lifts the, uh, uh, the sides of your nose, your nostrils, and your upper lip. So it does this. And if you activate that strongly when you smile, what will happen is that your cheeks lift and they will almost cover your eyes. You'll get a lot of wrinkles and it will be difficult to keep your eyes open when you smile. This is what uh, I got told when I was modeling, as I started getting older, that you have to keep your eyes open when you smile. And it got difficult when I was activating this levator labi superioris alakentasi muscle. So you want to relax that muscle. You can even stroke Stroke it down like this. It activates up, so you want to stroke it down. And then let your fingers stay here so that you can still breathe in through your nose. And then hiss. I know it looks ridiculous, but don't worry. It's a really good exercise to activate these muscles. Keep doing it. So when you activate the zygomaticus major muscle here, you will get high cheekbones and that's considered attractive in all uh, genders. Um, what will also happen is that the corners of your mouth will start lifting up even when you think that you have no expression on your face. So you will get rid of the bitchy resting face. Um, also, if you have any um, extra here, this will lift your entire face. So it's really important to activate these muscles when you smile. So just remember, you don't want to pull your mouth sideways and you don't want to do this. Okay, just activate this muscle. And don't worry if it will take you a few days to find the right muscle. It took me a few days and I'm a face yoga teacher. So don't worry about it too much. Just keep doing the exercise. What they always say in yoga, it doesn't matter if the movement looks right, right away. You get the benefits from trying, from exercising, from practicing. What you can also do is something I call the cheek push-ups. So you... Use a mirror and make sure that you do both sides symmetrically. And make sure that you do them both symmetrically is um, one way to do it is by doing something that I call the, uh, um, what is it in cars when you want, you, like blinkers, yeah. So you want to lift just one corner of your mouth. And don't think about lifting the corner of your mouth. Think about activating this muscle. If one side is weaker than the other, do a bit more on that side. Because what could happen uh, as you get older, is that if only one side activates, your smile will get a bit lopsided. 
And then even when you think you're genuinely smiling, you will look like, you'll look sar sarcastic maybe. So you want to make sure that both sides activate. Perfect. I recommend that in the beginning, you do these exercises several times a day, just for a minute or so, so that you're teaching your face a new way to smile. So that these muscles, the Chikomatikus major muscles, will be the first ones to activate when you have the feeling that you want to smile. And please smile a lot. Our mind uh, will believe what are the messages that our body sends. And if we smile, even if the smile is fake, our mind will think that everything is okay. It's going to be a nice and beautiful day. In my next video, I'm going to tell you perhaps the most important thing that you will ever learn in face yoga. So stay tuned.